All right, guys, just a quick update here. Uh, I, uh, been stripping the bottom of the car. I got the, uh, leaves off, shackles, suspension, brake and gas lines. Uh, pretty much everything except for that, uh, emergency brake cable and the speedometer cable. Everything else has been pulled. Um... And then I started wire wheeling, and uh, you know it looks pretty good. Um, you know, uh, most of it's real clean. Um, there's a lot of spots I can't get. You know, can't get up in here with the wire wheel, but but you can see this is all clean. Started doing this wheel, wheel well. It's all real clean. It's in good shape. Um, <clears throat> there, I did find one hole. <sighs> that uh, I didn't know about before. Where is it? Uh, it's under somewhere. Oh, right there. Bottom of the uh, floor pan in the uh, driver's side rear seat. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to cut that all out. Um, all the way up to here. But, uh, you know, I should be able to, you know, I mean, this is what the parts car is for, is to cut that piece out of it, you know. So, um, yeah, torque boxes look real good. I still want to try to get in there if I can. There's some spot welds here. I'm hoping I can just pop those spot welds and maybe fold it open. Get in there with the sandblaster, just paint it, close it up, and then get spot weld it back up. Um, kind of weird, there's like a little... I don't know if it got dented there or what, but it's split right there. Or not split, but separated. Now see, you can kind of see before, before, and after. So, the wire wheel kicks ass. Um, <clears throat> there's this spot up here on the passenger side floor pan. And then this is uh, weird right here, funky. I don't know what happened there. So I'll probably cut all that out. And then, you know, I showed you before the uh, patch that I did way back in high school that did not fare well because it was poorly done. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's a bunch of funk up in there i got to take a look at. So, yeah, guys, it's moving along real well down on the bottom. So, uh, you know, a couple weeks I'll probably ready, have this ready for paint. I won't have the temperature for it, <laughs> but I'll be ready for it. So, if I don't get, you know, some warmth so that I can paint the bottom, then I'll probably flip it back down and start the quarter panel work. Get as much of that done as I can before spring. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.